um, our class um, uh, as part of the Discipleship International Theological Seminary online here. And uh, so this is our final exam. And if you can, please, every one of you, write your name and the word final exam on the top of a blank sheet of paper. So can you please get out a blank sheet of paper? Um, and then you will put the numbers one to 26 on that page. Um, so from numbers one to 26, or we'll write those numbers on a blank sheet of paper. And this will be your final exam paper. Then we will read our, we will uh, grade the answers together after we take the test. So um, this is all you will need is just a blank sheet of paper. You can put your name there and then just write final exam. Um, N-T-A-S, uh, and then you can make sure that you close your, um, close your notes and your study material. So set all of your study material, your notes aside. Um, also, you do not, you will not use any notes for this test. So close your notes and uh, put those aside. Close your Bible also. So you will not need to use, use only your memory. Use only your memory. So a blank sheet of paper. And a pen. And that will be it. Okay. Is everyone ready? Are we all ready? Let's see here. Okay. Are we ready? Here it is. Okay, make sure you have your notes all put away and your and here is our first test. Our first question. Here is our first question. Question number 1. In Romans 15:19 what did the Apostle Paul claim he had fully done from Jerusalem to Illyricum? So choose A, B, C, or D. A, did he plant churches? B, did he preach the gospel? C, did he visit cities? D, did he pray for souls? Which of those? A, B, C, or D. Write the correct answer on your page for number one. In Romans 15, 19, what did the Apostle Paul claim he had fully done from Jerusalem to Illyricum? Which one? A, B, C, or D. Write only the, you, the correct, the answer will only be A, B, C, or D. Please write that down on your page. 
Which one of those four is correct? All right, that's question number one. Now, question number two. Question number two in chapters one to seven of Acts, who reached the city of Jerusalem? Was it A, the believers sent out in apostolic teams? B, was it angelic messengers? C, was it local believers? Or D, was it scattered believers? So which of those four reached the city of Jerusalem in chapters one to seven? A, B, C, or D? Question number two. All right, the next one, question number three. Question number three in chapters eight to 12 of Acts, who reached the regions of Judea and Samaria? Who reached the regions of Judea and Samaria? Was it the believers sent in apostolic teams? Was it angelic messengers? Was it local believers or scattered believers? A, B, C, or D? Which of those four? Choose A, B, C, or D. Who reached Judea and Samaria in chapters 8 to 12 of Acts? All right, question number four. Question number four in chapters 13 to 28 of Acts, who reached the uttermost parts? Again, the same four possibilities. A, the believers sent in apostolic teams. B, angelic messengers. C, local believers. D, scattered believers. So who's the key? to reaching the uttermost parts, A, B, C, or D. Question number four. All right, now question number five. According to Acts 1 to 12, how long did it take to reach the local regions of Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria? What length of time is involved in Acts 1 to 12 in which the local regions of Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria were reached? A, is it five years? B, 15 years? C, 30 years, or D, it could not be done? Is it A, B, C, or D? Five years, 15 years, 30 years, or never? Which is the answer for that one? A, B, C, or D? All right, question number six. Number six. Which of the following descriptions best describes Paul's background? A, B, C, or D? A, was he poor and uneducated? B, was he from a wealthy Roman family, a Gentile? C, was he, did he have a conservative Jewish 
upbringing. D Paul's background. B, C, or D. A, poor and uneducated. B, wealthy Roman Gentile. C, conservative Jewish upbringing, highly trained. D, radical barbarian soldier, which describes Paul. Question number six. All right, question number seven. Which of the following locations did Paul not preach in in the first one to ten years of his ministry after salvation? Which of the following locations did Paul not preach in in the first one to ten years of his ministry? After salvation? Was it A, Galatia, B, Tarsus, C, Damascus, D, Arabia? Which did he not preach in? in his first 10 years of ministry. All right, question. Now question number eight. Question number eight. This is a short answer. This question, you will write a short answer. What important lesson does Paul's early Christian life provide for all believers? What important lesson does Paul's early Christian life provide for all believers? We studied this in particular in was in your review material. What is this lesson that we see from Paul's early Christian life? Write that answer in a short phrase or a sh short sentence. Question number eight. An important lesson <clears throat> from Paul's early Christian life. What is that lesson for all believers? All right. Now question number nine. Question number nine, approximately how many years was Paul preaching and planting churches in Tarsus and Cilicia? How many years was Paul in Tarsus and Cilicia preaching and planting churches? A, one year, B, five years, C, 10 years, or D, 20 years? What is the correct? Write down A, B, C, or D. All right, now number 10. In what chapter of Acts is the Great Commission? In what chapter of Acts is the Great Commission? Just write down that number of the chapter. 
So for question number 10, your answer is a number, the chapter in Acts of the Great Commission. Okay, question number 11 is, in what chapter of Acts is Pentecost? What chapter is Pentecost? Okay, question number 12, in what chapter of Acts is Saul, Paul converted? What chapter is Paul or Saul converted? Write down that number for question number 12. Okay, question number 13. In what chapter of Acts does the gospel advance to Antioch? In what chapter of Acts does the gospel advance to Antioch? Okay, number 14. In what chapter of Acts does the gospel advance to Macedonia? In what chapter of Acts does the gospel advance to Macedonia? Write down the number. Okay, very good. Now, question number 15. In what chapter of Acts does the gospel advance to Rome? What chapter of Acts does the gospel advance to Rome? Write down that number. Again, just only answer from your own from your own mind. This is a test, so don't try to look at your notes. Just look. Only do your own work from your own mind. All right. Question number 16. In what place did the gospel advance occur that is described in these verses? And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad, and they glorified the word of the Lord, and as many as were ordained to eternal life believed, and the word of the Lord was published throughout all the region. Is that happening in A, Judea? In B, Galatia, in C, Macedonia, or D, Asia? Which region is described by that phrase that we just read? And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord. And as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. And the word of the Lord was published throughout all the region. Which region was that one? Judea, Galatia, Macedonia, or Asia? A, B, C, or D? Which is the correct one there? Okay. Number 17. In what place did the gospel of advance occur that's described in these verses? And this continued by the space of two years so that all they which dwelt in this place heard the word of the Lord, Jesus, both Jews and Greeks. So which is the place? Is it A, Judea, B, Galatia, 
C, Macedonia, or D, Asia? Which is the region described by these verses? Write down A, B, C, or D for question number 17. All right, now question number 18, fill in the blank. So there are two missing words in this statement. Write down these missing words. The book of Acts is more than first century church history. It is a narrative about the triune God on an blank, blank to the ends of the earth. What is, what are these two missing words? What are the two missing words in this statement? The book of Acts is more than first century church history. It is a narrative about the triune God on and blank, blank to the ends of the earth. Question number 18. All right, question number 19. We're getting to the end here. Question number 19. This question is about Discovery Bible Study. Uh, in fact, the last questions are part of, are about Discovery Bible Study. So in what part of a Discovery Bible Study small group meeting do you ask the following question? How did you obey what Jesus said to you in our last Bible study? How did you obey? what Jesus said to you in our last Bible study. So this is this part of A, worship? Is it part of B, friendly accountability? Is it part of C, Jesus' vision? Or is it part of D, pastoral care? So choose A, B, C, or D. And which part of the meeting do you ask this question how did you obey what Jesus said to you in our last Bible study? Is that worship? Is it friendly accountability? Is it Jesus' vision? Or is it pastoral care? A, B, C, or D? Okay, now questions 20 to 26 are all part of this final question here. So write down numbers 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26 on your page. So have those numbers there, 22, 26. And now here are our seven study questions for Discovery Bible Study. Here are the seven questions, and there's a blank for these questions. So for each of these numbers, write down that missing word. Number one, what did you about this passage? So for question number one of Discovery Bible Study, what is this question? There's a blank there. What did you, what about this question? Number two then, what did you find blank about this passage? Then number three, question number three, what does this passage teach people? What does this passage teach about what? What does this passage teach us about for number 22, question number three of the seven, what does this passage teach us about what is the blank there? And then number four, what does this passage teach about blank? 
That would be for question number 23. Then for question number 24, the fifth question of the seven, how will you what this passage? Then number six, who will you blank with this passage? The sixth question, who will you blank with this passage? That would be question number 25 of your test. And then question number 26 of the test is this blank. With whom will you, the final, uh, with whom will you blank your testimony or the gospel of Jesus? All right, so questions 20 to 26 have a blank from each of the seven Discovery Bible Study questions. So you can see them. What did you blank about this passage for number 20? What did you find blank about this passage? 21, what does this passage teach about blank? 22, what does this passage teach about blank? 23, how will you blank this passage? 24, who will you blank with this passage? 25, with whom will you blank your testimony or the gospel of Jesus, number 26? All right. Let's see here. Does anyone need any, any question repeated? Anyone needs a question repeated before we do the answers? Anyone needs something repeated? Any question on the questions before we grade? Everyone ready? So 19 number question. Okay, number 19. Here's number 19. In what part of Discovery Bible study meeting do you ask the following question? How did you obey what Jesus said to you in our last Bible study? Is that A, B, C, or D? A, worship, B, friendly accountability, C, Jesus' vision, or D, pastoral care? Okay, very good. Anyone else need something repeated? Anyone else? Okay. All right, if it is all clear then, let us go to the answers. Let us go to your answers. So I want you to grade your own paper. Obviously, just uh, be honest with your grading um, and mark the number that you get wrong um, or the number that, that are correct. And then I will record that as our final exam. And you can report that uh, to me here. I'll ask you for that after we grade it. Okay, so here we have, um, here are the grading pages. Here are the answers. So let's just, you look at your page and then look here on the screen and we'll quickly review this. So for question number one, the correct answer is the letter B. 
Um, in Romans 15, 19, what did the Apostle Paul claim he had fully done from Jerusalem to Illyricum? And that was he had preached the gospel. The answer is B. For question number two, in chapters one to seven, who reached the city of Jerusalem? The correct answer is C, the local believers. The local believers. Letter C. Number three, in, question, in chapters eight to 12, who reached the regions of Judea and Samaria? The correct answer is D, the scattered believer. D. Then for question number four, chapters 13 to 28, who reached the uttermost parts? That answer is A, the believers sent in apostolic teams. So apostolic teams reach the uttermost parts. That's A for number four. For number five, how long did it take to reach the local regions of Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria? The answer is 15 years. 15 years. 15 years. Number B. Number B. Letter B. And number six. Which of the following descriptions best describes Paul's background? C. That is C. He was a conservative Jew, highly trained. So number C. Then for question number seven, which of the following locations did Paul not preach in in his first one to 10 years of his ministry after salvation? The answer is A. Hmm. A. He did not preach in Galatia. He did preach in Tarsus. He did preach in Damascus. He did preach in Arabia, but he did not preach in Galatia until after that period of time. So the correct answer for number seven is the letter A. Okay, number eight. What important lesson does Paul's early Christian life provide for all believers? What is the answer for that? What lesson? Can someone take lessons? God wants new believers to be immediate witness to family, friends, and communication in their home region. Excellent, excellent, perfect. God wants new believers to be immediate witnesses to family, friends, and communities in their home region. So the key concept that I'm looking there is for immediate witness in your home or local area. If you have something like that, immediate witness in your home area, family, friends. That's the idea for that answer, number eight. Okay, number nine. How many years was Paul preaching and planting churches in Tarsus and Cilicia? One, five, ten, or twenty? How many years? Ten years. About ten years. Ten years. That is the letter C is the correct answer. C. Ten years. All right, in what chapter of Acts is the Great Commission for number 10? Acts 1 8. Chapter That's one. right. Chapter 1. Number 11, in what chapter 
is Pentecost. Chapter 2. Chapter, chapter two. 2. Number 12. In what chapter is Saul converted? Chapter 8. Chapter 9. I believe it's chapter 9. Yes, chapter 9. Chapter yes. 9 is the chapter he is converted in. Okay, very good. Nine. Then number 13, uh, question number 13, in what chapter does the gospel advance to Antioch? Acts 11. 11. In what chapter does the gospel advance to Macedonia? Acts 16. Good. If you only have 16, that is fine. 16. 17 or 18, I will accept any one of those chapters, um, but 16 to 18 is the range for number 14. Then number 15, in what chapter of Acts does the gospel advance to Rome? 28. 28. 28. Very good. All right, number 16, in what place did the gospel advance? occur that's described in these verses and when the gentiles heard this they were glad and glorified the word of the lord and as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. and the word of the lord was published throughout all the region is that judea galatia macedonia or asia the correct answer is b galatia galatia the word of the Lord was published throughout all the region, describes Galatia. Letter B. And number 17. In what place did the gospel of France occur? That's described with this verse. And this continued by the space of two years. So all they which dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord both Jews and Greeks. The region is Asia. That is letter D. Letter D is the correct answer for Asia. Then number 18. Fill in these, this, these two words. The book of Acts is more than first century church history. It's a narrative about the triune God on an unstoppable mission. To the, of the earth unstoppable mission, mission is the correct answer unstoppable mission for number 18 then number 19 in what part of discovery bible study do you ask the following question how did you obey what jesus said to you in our last bible study the correct answer is B. That is friendly accountability. The friendly accountability section. B. Then we have the final um, seven blanks. Numbers 20 to 26. Um, so the first one is. What did you like about this passage? Like is the answer number 20. Like. 21. What did you find difficult about this passage? Difficult. Num uh, 22. What does this passage teach about people? People. 23. What does this passage teach about God? 24, how will you obey this passage? 25, who will you train or teach with this passage? So you could say train or you could say teach or you could say both. Train or teach with this passage. Number seven, with whom will you share your testimony? Share. share. Correct. Share. Okay. All right. Um, 
That was in there. Very good. Everyone have the answers clear there? Can you tally up your own yes. page then? Yes. Let's see here. And then I will um, collect. Let me record back your correct answers. So there's 26 questions or 26 blanks. Um, can you count up the number of correct answers? The number of correct answers out of 26, how many did you get uh, correct? I will write this down here for my final grade. Um, so, yes, sir. Let's see here. Um, who? Let's see here. Tell me your answers here. Let's see here. Brother Shaktiman, how many correct? Yes, sir. Uh, so I have uh, done oh, one, two, three, four. Four is incorrect, sir. Out okay. of 22. Out of 26, then you had 22 correct out yes, of 20. Sir. Very good. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Brother um, uh, Yasudis, what is yours? Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, question number nine. I have written the uh, share the gospel of Christ. For number nine. Yes, sir. How your answer? How many? Share the gospel of Christ. Okay, or is that question number eight? Is that eight or nine? Yeah, eight, eight, sir. For eight, you wrote, share the gospel of Christ. Um, so that okay. is right here. All right. Uh, What does God want? New believers for all believers share the gospel of Christ. Um, okay. Um, I believe you are very close to the correct answer there. The idea is to be sharing the gospel of Christ immediately, especially to their home region. Um, so it is like you got half of it. Uh, correct there. Um, so, so I let me just, yes. Let's see what this is. The answer is wrong, sir, and then uh, 23 is correct. So you got 23 correct? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, very good. Thank you. Uh, Brother Rajan. Uh, 23 out of 26. Okay, excellent. All right, good job. Brother Andrew. Uh, 25 out of 26. Okay, 25, 26. Very good. Uh, Brother Siwak. Yes, sir. All are right, sir. Okay. Very good, thank you. Let's see here, brother, anyone else here? Brother Alung. Uh, 24 out of 26. 24, 26. Okay, I think that brother um, Das and brother Akshay are not there. Uh, and Brother Samarpan also, I think, perhaps Sir, is missing. Oh. Brother, okay. Erwin is not here. 